So you decided that you're going to be taking apart a pallet and you want to know what's the best way to do it. You've already watched quite a few videos out there when it comes to removing the nails off of a pallet and what's the best way to prevent cracking and all that good stuff. And some people have made some really brilliant devices out there. The thing is, is that if you're like me, you only need to take care of about maybe five or six pallets and you're pretty much done for your needs. So there's no reason for you to go through the expense or heartache of dealing with a welder or $150 for a particular call tool that really can be pretty much solved with maybe one or two tools by themselves. So I wanted you to know about the concept of using two particular tools that I've used consistently and the pitfalls and that way we can get things done. The hammer and the nail puller has probably been the one that is most uh, advocated out there and the reason why is because it's actually very simple to use. You get the hammer, you push it in, it gets underneath and you can be able to lift. The problem with using this particular type of tool is that it keeps on doing this a lot, especially if there's a lot of nails in the wood. It will just crack it up and really that's just not what you want in the end. So one of the things that I purchased first was a particular tool from Crescent, which is a part of their demolition tools, which is called the DB18X. There's actually a name for it, I just forgot what it was. And what's nice about this particular tool is that it has a swiveling head, you know, it has the hammering back so that way you'll be able to push it in wherever, how deep you need to, and then when you lift it up, it enables you to get uh, underneath that bread, uh, board without a lot of cracking. Cracking will still happen, but if you do it just right, it will be not as bad as that. The only problem with this particular tool is, is that it has a tendency for some reason to let the uh, bolt actually come out. So you might need to get a thread locker to get that locked in if you decide to purchase this particular tool. Using this enables me to get a pallet done in about an hour. Now, the benefits that come from it is that you get to get a lot of nails that are actually savable and reusable. Some nails will not, some heads will actually fall apart. I will highly suggest that you purchase a magnet holder so that way when the nails fall onto the floor, you don't have to bend over and pick up every single one of them. This will save you a lot of backache with that. And definitely purchase yourself some saw horses. Saw horses are going to be a definite saver of your knees and your back because you can put the pallet close to your waist and it makes it easy for you to remove those nails. And uh, the other reason is that you, you know saw horses have multiple purposes so why not? I mean this is a good reason for you to purchase them. Moving on along. So let's just say you don't want to spend an hour and a half to take a part of an entire pallet. So you decide to go with a Cezaw, which is the next most popular option that is sent out there. I will definitely tell you it is true. As one guy said it, it's just like butter. So it will remove all of those nails from a uh, pallet properly within about 10 minutes or less. A lot of people do advocate for you to get an extra long blade for this, which I didn't do because I was trying to save money. And I understand the reasoning behind it though. The pallet on the sides are very easy for this thing to get through. It's the one in the middle because this thing is so long that it doesn't enable for you to actually reach the, all the nails in there without that extra long blade. So that is the reason why they tell you to get that. Luckily for me though, there's a new tool called a multi-tool. And what the multi-tool enables you to do is that the blade is right here in the front and you can actually force and push the actual blade through there as it goes through. So it basically did the same job as the saw, but with a much shorter area and so it makes life a lot easier for you. The only problem is, is that this thing can only handle about maybe 150 nails before the 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 blade goes bad so this is all for whatever reason can do four pallets with one blade by itself no problem if you decide to purchase this multi-tool it does have multiple tools that makes it useful but uh, I would highly suggest you go through eBay or you get the inexpensive model and then just keep an eye out for the proper blades for it one last suggestion is, is that you're still gonna always have cracked wood I am so sorry but the reason why the pallet is out there is probably because it's already damaged to a point where they can't use it. So you definitely want to make sure you invest in some clamps so that way you'll be able to save some of those boards. They might get cracked but all you got to do is just put some good old fashioned wood glue and clamp it down together and sand it and you know what? It's pretty much like new. 
gives it the character as well. Why not? So I went crazy and I have about four of these clamps that you can purchase inexpensively from Harbor Freight. Even the box stores don't have them too expensive. You just have to make sure that they're easy to use for your needs. And I even went as far as to get pipe clamps so that way if the board itself cracks also in the center, I will be able to actually save those as well. So I'll save it here and then later on I'll use that other clamp and close these guys down here. I hope that these suggestions help you. If you have any questions, send me a comment and I'll be more than happy to give you that information. And uh, happy depalating. <laughs>